This is the viper snake. What happens if it bites? What is the role of phospholipase A2 in viper snake venom? Let's find out. First, we'll see types of phospholipases. It includes phospholipase A, phospholipase B, phospholipase C, and phospholipase D. A is further divided into A1 and A2. Let's see the individual action of phospholipases. Phospholipase A1 acts on ester bond at position 1 of glycerophospholipid and form acyl glycerophosphorylcholine, acyl glycerophosphorylcholine and 1 fatty acid. Phospholipase A2 hydrolyzes the ester bond on second position of glycerophospholipid and form lysolecithin, this is lysolecithin and fatty acid lysolecithin and fatty acid. Lysolecithin can also be reutilized to produce lecithin back by enzyme acyl transferase. The fatty acid at second position is mostly polyunsaturated fatty acid and mostly it is arachidonic acid which is a precursor of eicosanoid. Phospholipase A2 is an enzyme present in venom of bees and Viper snake venom. We will see detailed action of phospholipase A2 in viper snake venom later in this video. Phospholipase B, also known as lysophospholipase, is an enzyme with a combination of both phospholipase A1 and A2 activities, that is, it can cleave a cell chain from both at position 1 and position 2 of phospholipid. The products are glycerol phosphorylcholine and two fatty acids. In general, it acts on lysolecithin which is formed by the action of phospholipase A2 on lecithin. Phospholipase C is a phosphodiesterase responsible for hydrolysis of glycerophosphate bond that links the polar head group to glycerol backbone. It hydrolyzes the ester bond between phosphate and glycerol to form 1,2-diacylglycerol and phosphorylcholine. Phospholipase C also acts on phosphatidyl inositol 4,5-bisphosphate and form inositol triphosphate and diacylglycerol which have a role in signal transduction pathway. Certain bacterial toxins are rich in phospholipase C. Phospholipase D hydrolyzes the bond between phosphate and nitrogenous base and form phosphatidic acid, phosphatidic acid and choline. The partially hydrolyzed products can be reused for synthesis of new phospholipids. Plant sources contain phospholipase D. When viper snake bites, venom enters into the bloodstream. Enzymes present in viper snake venom are proteinases, hyaluronidase, polynesterase, lecithinase, ribonuclease, phosphatidase, and most importantly, phospholipase A2. Phospholipase A2 are multitoxic enzyme which can act locally as well as systematically to induce wide range of pathophysiological alteration in the victim. There are two forms of phospholipase A2 in snake venom. One is lysine 49 where lysine is at 49th place at active site and other is aspartic acid at 49th place of active site of enzyme. Lysine 49 at the active site do not have any enzyme activity but act locally at site of snake bite causing hemorrhage, cytotoxicity, myotoxicity. The other form of phospholipase A2 is catalytically active which act on phospholipids of the cell membrane of RBC which causes hemolysis. It also acts on phospholipids present in plasma membrane of various cells. Phospholipase A2 also affects at neurons at presynaptic and postsynaptic cleft to cause neurotoxicity. The inflammatory events evoked by phospholipase A2 are primarily associated with enzymatic activity releases 
disproportionate amount of arachidonic acid and lysolecithin or you can say lysophospholipid. Arachidonic acid is a precursor for biosynthesis of several lipid mediator of inflammation such as prostaglandin, thromboxanes and leukotrienes leading to alteration in the environment of target protein which causes myotoxicity, cardiotoxicity, anticoagulant effect with platelet aggregation effect also causes convulsion, hypertensive activity, edemas, ultimately organ tissue damage like liver, kidney and lungs. Lysophospholipids enter inflammatory pathway through platelet activating factor, lipoprotein and endocannabinoids. The product of lysolecithin is a strong surface acting substance that has a marked hemolytic action, destroys red blood cells by hemolysis and demyelinates nerves. Hence, in viper poisoning, hemolysis and consequent renal failure is seen. So overall viper snake venom is cytotoxic, myotoxic, neurotoxic and cause hemolysis leading to renal failure. So this is all about the action of phospholipases including phospholipase A2 in viper snake venom. Hope you got value out of it. If you do then please like and share this video and also subscribe my channel. Thank you.